The sun is not a big ball of fire. It's something else. It's a big plasma thing, more similar to a giant hydrogen bomb going off. Now, what would happen if we did try to hit the sun with a tremendous amount of water? This is Googleplex, and here's what would happen if you pour one Googleplex liters of water into the sun. The sun shines by fusing hydrogen into helium by the immense pressure at its core. Water being a molecule made up of hydrogen and oxygen does not exist in any stars. The heat and pressure of becoming part of the sun will destroy the water molecules and they'll be converted back to being separate hydrogen and oxygen nuclei. So, by pouring water on the sun, you're giving the sun more hydrogen. Therefore, it just gets larger and hotter. In fact, for a star that has a mass near that of our sun, its energy output is proportional to the fourth power of its mass. This means that doubling the mass of the star will cause it to output 16 times more energy per second and shine 16 times brighter. In order to get the sun to increase its luminosity by just 1%, we would have to throw on an amount of water that is equivalent in mass to about 800 Earths, but one Googleplex liters of water is quite heavier than that, so the mass, size, and luminosity of the sun will increase by a lot of percent and cause an absolute catastrophe for us here on Earth as the sun reorganizes itself with its newly and suddenly added huge amount of mass. The heat and pressure inside the sun is vast, around 15 million degrees Kelvin, the pressure over 2 billion tons per square inch. The bigger the star, the greater the pressure and temperature inside the core, so the faster it will burn through its hydrogen supply. A sun-like star may last for 10 billion years. Some really massive stars may last just millions of years. Adding anything to the sun is sure to increase that pressure and make it burn even brighter, reducing the lifetime of the sun. And if you could get enough water into the core of the sun, it would cease to be a main sequence star. The sun may now have millions, perhaps only thousands, hundreds, tens or fewer years to exist. If you add enough mass, the sun would even explode into a supernova sometime in the future and end up as a neutron star or even a black hole due to the gravitational pull making the sun crash into itself. This black hole will keep soaking up water, spraying off x-rays in the process until finally your water supply stops. But if your idea was to shut off the sun, there is another method. If you could somehow blast your water at the sun at high enough velocity, like near the speed of light, you might be able to tear it apart. By reducing the sun's mass, you'll be decreasing the temperature and pressure in its core so that it can no longer support fusion reactions. A messy collection of water, hydrogen, helium, etc. would be spread over a huge volume in space. Of course, pouring one Googleplex liters of water into the sun would be a rather bad move for most of us. But would you like to try that on a hypothetical sun in a hypothetical solar system?